Hello everyone! Welcome to Kiko TV. It's me again, Ryan. Ako pong inyong makakasama for today's video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening kung saan man kayong sulok ng mundo. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you are new to my channel, kung pagbago ka sa akin channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, meron dyang notification bell button para updated ka kung may uploads man ako. Uh, for today's video, it's going to be again, again, very special. It's because it's been months. May nag-request sa akin na gumawa ng video about sa mga gusto ko dito sa Canada. And then lately, meron naman nag-comment at gusto niya gumawa ko ng video about may mga gusto ko dito sa Canada. So for today's video, it's another sit-down video. So nandito ko sa, sa kwarto ko ngayon. As you guys can see, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung room tour ko, ilagay ko yung, description, yung, yung link sa description box below. So, meron akong notebook kasi nilista ko na dito kahapon yung mga gastusin for the month of December 2018. Uh, so, disclaimer lang po, hindi po ako nagmamayabang, hindi ko po uh, intention na mag-brag kung ano man yung, yung perang kaya kong bayaran. It's because I too, as a person, as as a worker here in Canada, I struggle too with my pay. So, guys, uh, ito yung notebook ko. Nilista ko na siya kahapon yung mga yung mga gastusin namin dito sa Canada. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's begin, guys. So, for the month of December 2018, meron ako dito 15 sa list ko na dapat kong bayaran or na, yung iba dito na bayaran ko na, guys. So, ang unang-una po namin is yung NMAX. Yung NMAX is yung parang ano tawag dito? Parang meral ko sa Pilipinas na pinaghalong uh, nawasa Tapos meron pa kaming gar garbage disposal na, disposal na binabayanan din. So yung NMAX, it includes water, it includes heat, it includes electricity, it includes garbage bins disposal. So dito sa Canada, siguro kung napanood nyo na yung mga uh, vlogs ko before about... May, may, may vlog ako, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, nag-vlog ako about yung mga garbage bins. So meron kami itong uh, green, meron kami green for organic. Uh, blue for recycle and then black for like yung talagang yung push na push na garbage na siya. So, pati yun guys, minabayarin namin siya every month. Kung, kung, ano, kung gusto nyo malaman yung presyo, ilagay ko siya dito. Yan. Yan shop guys. Yung, yung NMAX namin, so yung water, electricity, heat, garbage bins, disposal. Pati mismo yung pagpa-flush ng toilet. Yes, including flushing the toilet, guys, is 209.69 cents. When I when I first came to Canada, nung nag-rent pa lang ako ng, ng, ng room, hinahati namin yung, yung NMAX bill. Pero since itong bahay na to, is I own it, and I bought it a year, a year ago. So, ako lahat yung may salo niya. Uh, yung 209.69 na yun, hindi pa yung full-blown, guys. It's because... Kung napapansin nyo sa mga vlogs ko, lumilipat kami ng bahay-bahay. So, minsan wala kami dito. Siguro ang maximum na nandito kami sa bahay na to is siguro mga 20 days. Kasi, palipat-lipat kami, di ba? So, pag day off kasi ako, lumilipat ako sa kabilang bahay, sa bahay ng ng fiancé ko na si Brian. Pero minsan naiiwan dito si mommy daddy. But anyway, uh, just to give you an idea, it's 209.69 cents. So, next is yung Fido. Fido is my cell phone carrier. Um, ito yung cell phone, bill ko, cell, cell phone bill ko for this month. So, 91.48 cents. I, 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 I've been with Fido since nagpunta ako ng Canada. So, wala na rin ako. Uh, I mean, uh, wala naman akong complaints sa, sa Fido. Uh, so, I, I stayed with them for the last 9 years na rin. So, I've been using Fido for the last 9 years. So, 91.48 kasi medyo mahal yung, yung, yung 5G, yung LTE. So, siya pala kailangan ko yun. I, kapag wala ako dito sa bahay, kailangan ko ng internet. So, I need those data. Tapos, 10 gigs yung included niya sa 91.48. So, the third one <clears throat> is yung line of credit loan ko. So, nag-loan ako ng 25,000 para sa garage na pinagawa ko last, uh, early this year. So, kung Kung nagtatanong, kayo, kung nagtatanong kayo kung bakit nagpagawa ko ng garage, it's because napakalamig dito sa Canada. Ayan. At yung picture niya, guys. Napakalamig dito sa Canada. Uh, yung iba dito walang garage, I feel sorry for them. Pero siguro, ay, ang priority nila is yung deck. Pero ako, ang pinariority ko is yung garage. It's because, ang hirap sa winter kasi sinasaksak ko pa yung kotse ko. So, minsan, sa sobrang lamig, kahit isaksak mo yung kotse mo, hindi siya gagana. So, kapag day shift ka, uh, di gumana yung kotse ko. 
So, pag day shift ako, at di gumana yung kotse ko, it's a big problem kasi paano ako makapunta ng work. But anyway, so ayan yung picture nung garage, uh, before and after. So, ang binabayaran ko ngayon is $500 at least a month. $500 a month, at least, ha? Kasi kapag di ako nag... Um, ang, if I'm not mistaken, ang interest rate na binigay sa akin is 6%. So, hindi naman siya ganun kabongga, pero tinatry ko magbayad ng mas push na push. I think ang minimum yata is $200, pero nagbabayad ako ng $500. Kasi, the more, kasi gusto ko siya nung matapos siya mas maanda. Next is yung show internet. Show internet, $89.50. So, nagtaas siya from $45. The reason being is because the first, the first year na nag-stick him dito sa bagong bahay, meron silang promo for first-time homeowners na parang half price. Pero ngayon parang, since lagpas na kami ng one year, and pumapasok na kami sa second year ng contract namin dito sa show, uh, sabi nila, tapos na yung parang promo nila, so whatsoever. But anyway, so it's 89.15 at yung internet namin sa bahay. Wala kaming phone sa bahay. It's because panagpakabit pa kami ng phone sa bahay. At pag nagpakabit pa kami ng TV sa bahay, that would cost me almost $200. So, yung $89.15 na binabayan ako ng from show internet is just the Wi-Fi itself. Wala, wala na iba. So, ang ginagawa namin, bumili kami ng Apple TV at doon kami nanonood ng news sa Apple TV. Everything including <clears throat> Reuters, CTV News, Global News. Uh, tapos kapag minsan alam niyo sa YouTube, uh, sa YouTube may mga nag-upload ng mga Philippine news. So doon na, na rin namin siya pinapanood. But next is yung mortgage. This is big time. Mortgage. So guys, bumili ako ng bahay last year. So, 2.9, sorry, 2.91 or 2.99% yata. I'm not entirely sure but I'm pretty sure it's 2.9 plus percent yung, yung interest rate ng bahay. Uh, yung mortgage pala. So, 5 years yon fixed rate. So, for the next 4 more years, ang binabayaran ko is 1,800. Ni-rounded up ko na siya, guys. 1,700 something siya at uh, every month. Guys, it's only a duplex. So, ito lang yung nung nag ako dati para bumili ng bahay. Ito yung na-approve sa akin na bahay. Which I, which I love. It's because I'm very minimal. So, yung kung masyado malaki yung bahay. Kasi, hindi ko rin naman alam gagawin hindi ko alam ang gagawin sa malaking bahay. I mean, mas gusto ko nang maliit and at the same time, cute and very minimalist din kasi. So, gusto, alam mo yun, gusto ko lang simple things in life. And, yeah. The next one is the life insurance. So, mamili ako ng life insurance. May kasama na siyang investment. Pero, honestly, hindi ko alam kung ano ba yung mga investment na included doon. Pero, ang binabayaran ko doon is $50 per month. The next one is yung mga house and car insurance. Dalawa yun. So, house, pinagsama na yung house ko tsaka yung car insurance, it's equal to 168. Dati, ang binabayaran ko sa car insurance was $98. Tapos, parang bumaba siya ng $90 something kasi pinagkumbine ko na yung house tsaka yung car insurance. So, meron siya ng ganung promo. Next is yung investments ko. So, meron akong retirement investment, savings. Retirement uh, investment, savings, investment na nag-auto deposit siya. So, may, meaning ng auto deposit, tinatanggalan ako ng, eh, ng, ng, ng certain amount of money every month for my paycheck. So, $200 yun. Kumbaga, uh, ito yung the, the close, yung pinaka best na ma-explain ko to sa inyo guys is yung para alam niyo yung paluwag na nagugulog ka every, every, every month or every bi-weekly sa sa, sa taong nangawala ka ng pera. Parang ganoon na rin siya dito. Parang same-same siya. The, the only difference is because the investments, nag-earn ako at least ng percentage, I think 2% kapag nakasit lang din yung pera. The next is yung my credit card. So yung credit card ko, oh my god. I don't I don't wanna say kung magkainig ko ako sa credit card, pero ang ceiling ang, ang credit limit ko is 5,000. Uh, hindi pa naman siya max out guys. Kasi I try as much as possible na hindi gamitin yung credit card ko but anyway hindi 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 ko siya ma hindi ko siya mag at ah, dito hindi ah, it's unavoidable ayun yung term hindi uh, kailangan talaga siyang gamitin it's because dun dun ayun ang ginagamit ko pa nagbabayad ako ng ng Nmax ng tubig ng kuryente diba at dun, 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 dun din ako 
yung credit card yung ginagamit ko for my cellphone bills tsaka yung bahay ko sa my show internet. So, ayun. But anyway, so binabayaran ko sa Visa, credit card is 600 a month. Medyo mataas siya compared sa line of credit ko. It's because yung credit card ko is 21.99% yung interest rate niya compared sa line of credit ko which is only 6%. Next is my student loan. So guys, kung hindi nyo alam, I'm a student, I was a student here in Canada for as long as I can remember, child. <laughs> so guys, um, I did my LPN and then my RN here in Canada. And ang student loan ko is about 21,000. So ganun siya kamahal, guys. So, I don't even know kung paano siya babayaran ng 21,000 ng bongong bong ganyan. But anyway, so 1% lang yung interest rate niya. So binabayaran ko sa student loan as much as I can is $500 a month. Uh, next is my nursing license. So, $600 a month. So, that's every year. So, in-include ko siya dito sa December. It's because, ay, uh, ngayon ako nagbayad ng nursing license sa school. So, $600 siya a month. The next is homeowner's fee. So, dito sa Mahogan, hindi ko saan ako nakatira, they charges uh, $494. Pretty sure it's $480 something. Pero, ni-rounded up ko na siya to $500. So, ayun ang homeowner's fee namin dito, dito sa mga hogan, dito sa my Calgary. Pang-13 is yung gas na ginagastos ko uh, sa aking car, which is $150 a month. Ang gas prices dito sa Canada, it fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, may mga times na sobrang baba siya. Ang pinakamababayat na nakita ko is 95.5. Ang pinakamataas, parang 130. So, as much as I, ano, Medyo tipid ako sa gas ngayon at because nandito ako ngayon sa Mahogany, I'm very close to my place. I mean, my workplace. Uh, seven minute drive lang siya. Next is the groceries. So, yung groceries, it's very, very important. But we try as much as possible na mag-train down sa groceries. Although, hindi siya, uh, uh, hindi siya kayang i-avoid. It's because we need to eat, right guys? So, ang grocery namin for four people, ako, si Brian, si Mami, Daddy, is $500 a month. But anyway, so for this $500 a month is dito lang sa bahay na yun. Uh, and that's good for at least, at least one month. Minsan, kulang pa siya. So, pumunta kami sa, sa grocery store para mag-pick up ng mga kulang. Fifteenth, the last and the, yung pinakahuli is yung, ba, yung pagkain ng Mickey Mart at nagigil ng mga dogs namin. So, that's $100 a month. So, kumakain sila ng chicken, ng roasted chicken, nakakonsume nakakakonsume sila ng roasted chicken ng buong roasted chicken for 4 days so ang isang roasted chicken kasi dito kung nakita niyo yung mga vlog ko in the last few days alam niyo lang ayun na kinakain nila is uh, nakakonsume sila ng mga 5 siguro 5 roasted chickens in a month tapos meron pa silang Caesar meron pa silang uh, milk bone para sa kanilang tea tapos meron pa silang mga trees so that's $100 a month. So nung kinumpit ko siya guys, ang total niya in Canadian dollars is $6,058.32. So that's $6,058.32. Ang exchange rate ngayon sa, from, uh, from Canadian dollars to Philippine peso, I think it's $40 ay na pinaka standard meron meron mga 39 minsan may mga days na 39 may mga days na 40 point something above above 40 pero i i just use 40 dollars kasi much easier when it's uh, when i'm doing my computation so kapag minultiply ko yung yung gastos namin this month in 40 uh, times 40 40 pesos it's 242,000 no 240 2,200, sorry, 242,332 and 80 cents. So, ganun siya. So, to almost 250,000 yung, yung ginastos namin, kagastosin namin, or nagastos na namin this month. So, guys, ayun yung gastosin namin for the month of December. Uh, Again, 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 guys, hindi po ako, disclaimer lang po, hindi po ako nagbabrag ng kaya po namin gastusin sa Canada. It's just, I wanted to show you guys, kung gusto niyo pong mag-migrate mag, mag dito sa my Calgary, ganito po yung gastusin namin dito. Uh, and siguro mas makakamura ako kung ipaparent ko yung mga rooms dito sa, 
sa bahay ko pero as much as uh, I want gusto ko kasi yung privacy ng place ko so yeah anyway thank you for tuning in thank you thank you so much uh, sa mga uh, sa mga bagong subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much for um, watching this video sa mga lumang subscribers thank you thank you so much again for your support malapit na po tayo mag 3,000 subscribers let's continue to grow Kegel Squad thank you thank you thank you so much uh, see you on my next video bye